everybody and welcome back to To Be Like Christ. In today's video, the danger of building your theology or your religious beliefs around proof texts. Hi everybody and welcome back. I recently had a very interesting Bible study with a couple people who believe that all human beings used to be angels who sinned and fell from heaven and now are on this earth. When I asked the man for evidence that that was true in the scriptures, he brought up a verse, Proverbs chapter 8, verses 23 through 26. And that reads like this, Ages ago I was set up, at the first, before the beginning of the earth, when there was no depth I was brought forth, when there was no springs abounding with water, before the mountains had been shaped, before the hills I was brought forth, before he had made the earth with its fields, or the dust of the or the first of the dust of the world. The man that I was studying with pointed out that Solomon had written the book of Proverbs, which is correct, and that he was so wise that he understood this like nobody else had, and he used this text as evidence. He said, Solomon's the speaker in this text, and Solomon says, I was around before the world was here. I was around before God created the mountains. I was around before the waters and the ocean and the dust were all created. And this is a good example of a proof text, jumping right into the middle of a chapter, right into the middle of a book of the Bible, and making a point based off of what it seems like a few verses are saying, and you may or may not have considered the surrounding context. Because the one mistake that that man was making in bringing up this chapter is that Solomon is not speaking about himself. If the man that I was studying with had taken the time to read the rest of the chapter, he would have understood that the point he was trying to make from this text can't be made. What we find is that it's not actually Solomon speaking about himself in verse 23 through 26. Notice the speaker. Look back at, look back at verse 12. Notice the open quotation marks there. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and I find knowledge and discretion. Solomon isn't speaking as himself as if I was there before the beginning of the world. Solomon is actually personifying the attribute of wisdom, and it's wisdom who's saying, I was with God since the beginning. I was with God since the mountains were formed. I was with God since the oceans were formed. And that's a very different understanding of what's going on in this passage. But when you consider the surrounding context of this chapter and the entire book of Proverbs, that's the interpretation that fits. Because we know, and Solomon is trying to get us to see, that wisdom originates and comes from God. He says that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And that's really what the whole book of Proverbs is about. And so I give you that example just to encourage you to check the passages that you often use to support your religious views. Just about every kind of church, whether you're Methodist or you're Church of Christ or you're Baptist or you're Catholic, has a set of verses, and you may have them highlighted in your Bible, uh, that support, or are at least supposed to support, what you believe religiously. Make sure that your interpretations and what you think those texts are saying is the actual interpretation that the context demands. One great way to use context to make sure you're getting the proper interpretation is to study whole books and whole chapters of the Bible at a time. I know that there's a lot of topical study books out there, and, and each study will be based off of one particular topic, and there'll be verses pulled from all over the Bible to create that study. There's nothing wrong with that, but one thing that it doesn't allow you to do is to see the context in which those verses are pulled out of to make sure you're interpreting them correctly. So maybe if all you're doing right now is topical study, move towards studying entire books or entire chapters of the scriptures. That's not only going to help you understand particular verses better, but it's also just going to give you a bigger view and a better understanding of what's really going on in each book and then what's going on in the whole New Testament. Hi everyone and thanks for watching again. I hope that this has been beneficial and that you can make some application and that I can make some application from what we've been studying in this video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. We do videos five days a week. I've been a little slow lately, but I'm going to make up for it this weekend. And like the video, leave a comment down below if you have anything to add or you have any questions, I'll be happy to get back to you. Take care.